by well what hasn't been said about him. I want to follow up very quickly on what Blue said there about getting cooler off his Snorlax. Why? Well, it's just been such a powerful champion for him at the moment. He's been able to use that acid spit to such amazing effect combined with that lightning gun. It's definitely a champion that's part of the meta right now. And if you're able to properly master it, then it can really secure you some strong advantages in the early parts of it. But that does not mean that he's invulnerable. Noctis is certainly going to be looking for a counter to that. And you know, what would that counter be? If you're Noctis right now, you're going up against Cooler, what are you thinking? What are you, what well, are you planning? My personal approach would be more rail, but uh, as they're setting up at the moment on Corrupted Keep, that does make things a little bit harder. You've got to look for that long-range damage. I expect the nail gun to be used a lot. There's a bigger hitbox to be uh, playing with, uh, and also the machine gun as well. But it looks like uh, uh, jumping into game straight away. We've already seen the first frag toss bot. Yeah, well, so you can quite get the cue that we were going live, <laughs> and uh, we are away. And uh, it is Noctis who does have himself frag number one. That's a way to calm the nerves. This might be a way to follow that up. He's going to finish up cooler now. Yes, so, he will. Wow. And uh, Noctis will tie us back up at 1-1. One, one. That was immensely close. And has actually uh, Noctis' own Sorlag uh, gone completely. Oh, no, I'm afraid. My, uh, right at the top, uh, looking there on the switch around, we have got uh, Cooler playing on the Nyx at the moment. Uh, Noctis has been so weak, though, for the time being. And Noctis is uh, having to just keep himself out of sight of Cooler right now, and we'll do a very good job of that, as his LG will lick away at Cooler. Cooler will use that opportunity to fall down and evade, but I don't think Noctis knows he was right behind him at that moment. Oh, there's such a close up. They're being so tremendously aggressive. Uh, on the items, and uh, Noctis is going to try and back away and get some of that health back. The armor's there. He's trying to block off the choke point with the acid spit. Does manage to survive with health, but the ghost walk exit, they can't decide whether to chase each other or run away. Uh, they're going to eventually break apart. Noctis keeps some distance between him and Cooler, and always has been a very intelligent player. Always has been someone who you know, gives away so few cheap frags. It's not someone who you typically associate as a quintessential dual player, but he's someone who's got just the absolutely the right mind for the game as well. He knows, ex he understands it, uh, all the fundamentals, and in very complicated detail as well. He's also the type of person who just has a personality, is amazingly good at handling the high pressure situations in dual. And a lot of chip damage being exchanged at the moment. No commitment, though, ultimately, for Noctis. Yeah, that mid-air rocket from Noctis did a huge amount of damage. Changed the complexity Whoa. of everything, but there it was. Cooler with his rocket. I think Noctis may have done some damage to himself as well. And that will be Cooler with his second frag, and we're down to a one-frag game. That's it. And uh, Ghost Orc being used. He's been trying to collect the hourglasses already. Let's find a uh, small armor, and uh, already reaching the limitations of uh, health and armor for Nyx. Bit of damage from above. Ghost Walk being forced out. Not going to be a full chase, though, from Noctis. He'd be just guessing at that point as to uh, where Cooler would be moving. We're on board with Cooler as he waits for Noctis incoming with the rockets, but then does land one of his own. Noctis going super aggressive, trying to chase out Cooler. Neither player has much health. Armor's up. Cooler takes it, and Noctis decides to escape and take Mega. Yeah, they've just broken away to their own respective items at the moment, almost uh, uh, resulting in a frag for, for both players. Um, but that is going to give them some breathing space to, to think about how to approach next. We've been seeing a lot of quiet plays in these duels, but they're going to engage at the moment. That is going to be Noctis forced to use the Ghost Walk. Cooler going to use it uh, afterwards and see if he can chase for the frag, and he is going to be able to find it. I like that, that for first Cooler. round on the board. Yeah, walk us through what we just saw at the very end there. Double Ghost Walk. So Noctis used uh, the Ghost Walk there, and uh, because you've got three seconds of it before it's... Um, before it expires, Cooler saw, okay, just before he goes visible, it becomes visible again, I'll use it, and that means I've got the advantage. I've got all the information and can make a play based off of that. And uh, that allowed him to chase successfully right at the end. Cooler takes round one. As, uh, we're on board with the Russian who goes chasing with that LG to try and take a early stab at wow. round two and does exactly that. Yeah, very good off the beginning. Slightly over aggressive from Noctis. Um, I mean, playing with the Anarchy, which is the champion, one of the champions he plays the most, and giving up his life so quickly. Wow, that was a lot of rocket damage and a mid air from Noctis to close that fight out. Tie things up. No sword like to worry about. LG looking solid, and he has forced out the Ghost Walk. He's got it up himself. 
he needs to find a way attack. I think I think Noctis was on sub 10 points of health just then. He might find him in a moment. He's right next to him. And Cooler just held his nerve. Didn't do anything and just found the way out. He had too little health to, to challenge or even do a surprise rocket. Noctis can smell Cooler now as he looks for him. That last frag, fantastic three rockets hit. And then he chased out Cooler with his LG off the spawn. And now Noctis has uh, not been able to really follow up and chase out Cooler, who was down to just one bar of health. Now has uh, armor to back that up as well. Noctis and, nicely stacked up, though. And also the Ghost War. Cooler's managed to survive the sort of tense moments where you're, you're waiting for the cooldown to appear again. So he has got that get out of jail free card uh, for the moment. But whether or not he chooses to use it defensively or aggressively is going to be up to him. 54 health left from Noctis. He's going to break away himself. No one forcing their Ghost Walk out just yet. Oh, Cooler, he's putting pressure on the Mega Health. That LG then from Noctis. I do not think Cooler anticipated such large amounts of damage to come out. No, and now Noctis might have an opportunity here to finish off the round. He is just one frag nice. away. Noctis will use his Ghost Walk to come up right behind Cooler now. Can he finish him off? He can! Beautiful play from Noctis. Wonderful. And uh, again, Cooler maybe not giving enough respect to the aim that Noctis has. I mean, he's a legend in his own right. You might not associate him with Duel 100% of the time, but he's someone who's always going to be delivering hard amounts of damage. Great play from Noctis, in no way in awe of this situation, and uh, himself has been able to tie us up at one round each. Uh, you see, he's warming up as well to the stage. Uh, Cooler, we've already seen him perform a very tight set versus uh, Toxic. Uh, Noctis seems as if no preparation needed. Noctis just chipping away, and that rocket will do more than just chip at Cooler, but uh, Cooler has all the health and armor he could ask for. I'm hoping to see Noctis maybe try and keep his life as long as possible with the Anarchy. I say that, and he might just lose his life just now. Mega's up, Cooler chasing, maybe a bit too far, but he's covered that choke point with the acid. And Noctis will not be able to chase directly unless he wants to incur some kind of damage. Oh, this is bye-bye. Oh, get out of the map. Great play from Noctis. <laughs> Talk us through that, that rush. What opportunity did you see? Well, from that frag, that was that was just a very simple attack with the LG. But we got a move just there, and Cooler, he just counters everything that Noctis was trying to deliver to him. I mean, a, a very, very sort of chaotic fight just then, but Noctis feeling that the odds were in his favor uh, definitely wasn't true at that point. On board with Cooler now as he goes looking for the Austrian. He's coming from behind. First rocket narrowly misses. And he didn't realize that it was right behind him, not getting hit off it. And now Noctis is hounding down Cooler. Cooler down at 25 points if Noctis can finish him. But Noctis only a little bit better himself. And uh, Cooler will eventually escape and has about the same as Noctis if they were to choose an engage here. Interesting. This is big, actually. He should be able to get a frag. LG coming out. Going to chase through the teleporter. Can't find him. Rockets from Noctis. Unbelievable. Beautiful play from Noctis. A rocket waiting for Cooler as he chased out the other side of that teleporter. And the second one finished off the job. And uh, Noctis has got a few tricks of his own here. What's he going to go for here? Cooler chases him and his LG is superior and takes him down. We're down to one frag left in round three. Uh-oh. Got to be careful here. Cooler, the damage coming up from Noctis and will chase with the Acid Spit. Very nice counter plays from the two parties. I know when uh, Cooler was chasing at that uh, nice mid-air we got from Noctis, he just did not think that Noctis stood a chance then. But uh, it all balanced out for you the know, Austrian in the end. In our early uh, games of today, we've seen on the main stage, there's been a lot of crescendo, a lot of fights building. In this, it's just been all guns blazing. Absolutely. We've got a fairly sort of small map uh, in some respects. There is no rail, of course, which can uh, change the pace of the game, the game a little bit. But we've also got some fast champions. Anarchy from Noctis really can elevate that pace a lot. And uh, at, at the end of the day, they're, they're choosing, they're making those decisions and taking those risks to see if they can get those fights in their favor. I suspect, though, that Cooler might want to play it a little bit more carefully now that uh, Noctis is on map point. On board with Noctis as he goes. Looking for Cooler and finds him. Cooler will chase Noctis wow. out, but Noctis cannot get away fast enough. His health just completely disintegrated then. Nothing that he could do. And Cooler timing his attack to absolute perfection. We have got Sawlag versus Sawlag. This is great damage actually from Noctis, but uh, Cooler, he doesn't give a damn. That was excellent retaliatory uh, LG damage. Falling backwards, Cooler hit almost every shot. 
And Noctis had no answer for it. And Cooler is two to the good here in round four, looking to tie us up at 2-2 if he can. And reflecting on that fight a bit, I think that Noctis don't really see the reason that he should have gone in, into that. It was a huge gamble. Usually you want to take the fights that you can see, okay, I've got a 78% chance of winning uh, and going like that. It, it was a coin flip just then, and uh, maybe even odds completely out of his favor. I'm uh, hoping he won't deliver something else like that. Here we go. Cooler has the health and armor advantage this uh -oh. time. And uh, Noctis, though, coming from behind. Nice play from him after that. And now we'll chase Cooler again. But Cooler is on top form. He's got Noctis in his sight. No, he evades. And Noctis has no health. You could see the through the wall the damage that was being done by the acid spit. It did eventually tick away. And Noctis was able to recuperate a bit on the health bubbles on the corner of the map. But uh, Cooler not able to finish the job just yet. And in just a couple of seconds' time, uh, both players will have their abilities up again. Still a second left, and the burnout on the, on the health. There was one and a half seconds remaining for the Ghost Walk, and he just managed to time that attack amazingly. I don't think Noctis was expecting Cooler coming around that corner at that exact moment. Having taken Mega, I think he thought Noct Cooler was just going to surrender that area entirely. And then an all guns blazing, Cooler comes around the corner and uh, finishes off. We're down to round five. Yeah, and, and just to finish off on the last fight, you do sometimes get the feeling, was I only two seconds to my abilities back up? That's no time at all. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll have it up in at any moment and I'll be safe. But Cooler, that's how quick Quake can be sometimes. You've got LG on LG, Noctis with the Anarchy. He's going to back away, trying to move in again on the fight just deliver some extra damage. Cooler is reacting so quickly every single time. Surely these players are going to break away from this. They're so weak. No one plays chicken into these two. They just do not uh, know the idea of retreat. And uh, Cool will take Mega, Noctis will take the armor, and uh, they will reset and regroup. Yeah, that's it. Noctis' stack looking almost as good as it gets for Anarchy. Cooler could use uh, a bit more armor. That's all like a, such a sort of a huge amount of health and armor naturally. And he probably wouldn't turn down a, a fight if he's positioned well. Is it? Can he win any information? He's found Noctis. Like to switch that to the heavy machine gun. Low rate of fire, high damage. Wow, that machine gun damage keeps coming in. The distance he was getting on that. Here we go, LG from Cooler will force Noctis away. And that Mega that uh, Cooler picked up undid all of the damage Noctis had done. And Cooler will consider himself in the driving seat for any exchange. This is a nice little patient, patience uh, from Cooler. He's looking for some kind of information to tell him what to do next. There's still seconds left until the items are up again. I think they're just going to claim an item each. This is the last round of the first map, of course. We've got uh, just over three minutes left. Playing very slowly for the time being. Quick drive by landing gun from Noctis. It's not going to do much at the end of the day. Maybe try to strike fear into his opponent's eyes at the very most. Here we go. Cooler wants this fight. He is ready for it. And he will wait and charge around the corner with that LG, but holds up and. Whoa, that nail gun does so much damage. He has to respect that. Noctis is doing a great job of moving in. This is the position that Cooler doesn't want, but he's forced the injection out and given himself time to do the last bits of damage. Great play from Cooler, and maybe that was Noctis who looked like he overcommitted afterwards. Ghost Walk used. 123 health left for Cooler, and he wants to get out of here. There is the armor up, and it's actually all worked out very nicely for Cooler in the end. Uh, Noctis needs to settle down a little bit. Re recollect his thoughts. Noctis was doing a fantastic job of... Oh, here we go. Another exchange. No, Cooler will decide against it. That's what I'm about to, the point I'm about to make, actually. Cooler's very good at saying no to fights. Noctis, on the other hand, is going for every single one of them. <laughs> Cooler down to 75 points health. Noctis not much better himself. In fact, much worse. And now, Cooler wow. can choose to chase if he wants. But uh, the rocket's raining behind Cooler. Eat away at all of that health, and he's down to just 59. And this is now an opportunity for Noctis if he could only find Cooler. That was really a huge play from Noctis just then. Those rockets prevented Cooler from feeling safe going over to the heavy armor. Means that Noctis can get back into the game a lot quicker than he otherwise would have been able to. Uh, Cooler still with a limited amount of health and armor. Means that Noctis, he wants to push in real soon. Oh, rockets waiting for Cooler, who's down to 50. And now where is Noctis? Can he finish off the job? He's coming from below, and his LG gives his position away. And then his rocket will be following up. Oh, 22 oh points of health for Cooler as he is forced to escape.
Praise the Lord for those teleporters, Cooler's thinking. He just managed to make that transition in time. A bit of acid spit helping him out. Well, very importantly, we'll tell him where Noctis was going as well. Exactly. And that armor's been taken already. He might spot them, but I think, yep, Noctis knows exactly where Cooler is. And uh, Noctis is really going to be thinking about the clock at the moment. There's 60 seconds left. And I think I just saw the toe from Cooler's perspective, and he's going to just back off. We might start seeing some defensive plays from him. This is a big move from Noctis, and he's going to find himself the frag. He just jumps straight into it, and there's almost no uh, time to be alarmed. That was just insta-death. Almost an opportunity for Noctis to follow that up as well, as Cooler has low health, and there's a real sense that Noctis may be able to pick this map up if he can chase this frag out. Oh, his window closes, Cooler shows up in front of him, and there's Noctis' LG. Oh, Noct and Cooler will evade. And that was very tense for Noctis, because the whole time he hasn't had his ability up as well. So he's had to ensure that his control is superior and that he's able to stop Cooler from pushing on that fight himself. We're going to see an engagement right now. There is Ghost Walker and Noctis, and he waits for 13 health left to do anything. Both players were so low on life. Noctis felt that he was going to get the armor, though. That's something that Cooler took earlier. This might mean that uh, Noctis has a slightly harder time. We are in sudden death now. The next frag decides the victor of map number one. It's Cooler who will fire up a volley of LG towards Noctis, who escapes and drops a rocket on it. Now chases with the LG. This is Noctis's moment. Cooler has just 17 points of health and escapes. Two bubbles, cooking back up to 75, and Noctis will feel the wind is in his sails. Yeah, Cooler is absolutely in the danger zone at the moment. Uh, these seconds ticking down till his abilities back up feel like years. And uh, he'll be like, sure, you got the information. You know where I am now. But oh my god, the direct rocket is going to grant Noctis map one victory. What a perfect shot. One shot wins the map. And Cooler, I was about to say great on him, didn't pick that fight, let it go by. But Noctis having none of it. And I think what you see there is just like two completely different thought, trains of thought on when do I engage in a fight. Cooler, well, as you saw in his game earlier against Toxic, he's happy to wait. And he's used to players like Toxic who are programmed to wait for an engagement. Noctis picks so many more fights than at least the other players we've seen against Cooler. And that's, that's had its pros and its cons, and in the end, it came out right on top for Noctis. Yeah, I, I think at the beginning, Noctis maybe was being a bit too aggressive, but he started chopping and changing it a little bit and really picking those moments to push in for the fights. And uh, even though it just broke down the game at only a fraction more, uh, it was enough to throw Cooler off guard a bit. But that rocket at the end, it shows you how weak Nyx is and how much sort of health and armor he has. One direct rocket, if you haven't picked up two armor shards, uh, sorry, uh, the small armors, then uh, you're in a lot of trouble. And not. And Cooler would have thought he made the right decision just there. Well, it was uh, it was Machiavelli before the match who commented on Noctis' rockets. They were the defining factor. We saw a couple of yep. big rocket hits from Noctis that just turned the swing of a... The mid-air flag as well that secured him one of the rounds. I mean, it was absolutely uh, phenomenal from him. And uh, I, I've got to say, actually, that um, prior to this tournament starting, I do have a Cooler as one of my uh, predicted finalists. So Noctis now taking a map from Cooler is going to start feeling very good and Cooler is going to be thinking about how exactly he's going to be able to engineer this back into his favor. Where did you have Noctis in your predictions? I think I had him in top eight, to be fair. Uh, but he, he's, he's someone that you expect to always be at the top of uh, Sacrifice or a, a team game or TDM most notably. Um, but uh, in, in, in Duel is where he, he practices it a little less than other players. Although he's got a great mind for him, that's where you shall have the purebred duelers that you tend to eat the victories out over him. But uh, maybe the level of focus, mechanical understanding, general game understanding is, is something that gives him such a big advantage. Cooler on CTN, never an easy prospect. How do you rate Noctis' chances? Um, I think it's not too bad whatsoever, actually. Although this is uh, this is Blood Run, this is a map that is huge in uh, uh, in Russia and is played heavily by hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, this is something that's changed quite a lot in Quake Champions. So although there's the um, uh, geometric uh, similarities, there are some little uh, added bits. There's a bounce pad down uh, near the railgun. Uh, there's also all of the abilities you've got to take into account, the different uh, physics uh, within each champion. So really, it's Blood Run on the face of it, but it's a totally different map in the way it's played. 
crunchy on the outside, smooth on the inside. <laughs> Here we go, first exchange, Noctis comes hounding down for Cooler, wow. and gets it. The rockets and the rails do the job, and Noctis is a frag to the good. I think maybe Noctis was watching the Razor game and is like, I need to get on some of that aggression a bit more because it was working wonders through him, who, of course, had this incredible run for a premier Quake Land attendance. And look at that move from Noctis. He's, he's decided that he wanted that armor, and it was the wrong decision. Cooler heavily punishes him for doing that. Yeah, an interesting choice to go for it, to be honest. And uh... as a very uh, diplomatic way of saying poor choices yeah. going for it. You, you can say it. I'm, I'm too nice. <laughs> And that's kind of what I was referring to in that first map of some exchanges that you just didn't expect Noctis to chase. Just like you didn't expect him to go for that armor. And yeah, he gave himself such a big advantage to begin with. I mean, you wouldn't want to throw it away at that point. Uh, we have got Ghost Walk used by Cooler. Misses the route to begin with. Going to have to switch weapons over there. Has got the Mega and is looking to buy some respect from Noctis. Goes in for the follow-up. Well, no love for him. But he'll be able to move away satisfied with his default here. Rocket direct. It's going to be a mutual frag. Noct is running right at him. And that's going to put it on Galena versus Nyx. Noct is going to be perfectly happy with that because that's the mega out of commission uh, that Cooler had previously taken. And it'll put the armor up for uh, up for fight. Uh, it is Cooler who comes off. Oh. And Noctis is going to try and return the favor from that first frag that Cooler got. No, Cooler down to 25, but that uh, health comes back and uh, Cooler escapes. It does make me sweat a lot when you've got someone who's uh, held up on fairly lower health on the armor. Uh, and is trying to sort of dismount it to get back to safety. That was almost uh, a critical situation for Cooler. What's interesting, though, about the matchup we have at the moment, we haven't really covered the champion selections widely on the Blood Run, but Cooler's using Galena. Having those totems, again, um, I've, I've mentioned uh, earlier in the tournament, but it can do 75 damage, and to a low health champion such as Nyx, that could be something uh, you've got to be seriously careful of. And the rocket does 80 as he chases out an opportunity here and uh, has no idea where the escaping Noctis went. Uh, did pick up the Mega, but it cost him a rocket on him as he did it. So Nyx, uh, Noctis there, actually uh, making the totem blow up was a blessing in disguise for him. Although it gave Cooler all the information he needed that that's the path that he walked, do note that with Ghost Walk you're invisible as well as invincible uh, for those three seconds. Um, it, it allowed him to make Cooler think that he was going over to that Mega Health, buying him that exit route through the teleporter. Noctis on his last champion in round one of map two. Here's a map to the good up. I do like seeing a good uh, Galena getting played at the moment, and Cooler's control has been excellent. There's so much available health and armor with Galena, of course, you don't have the same mobility that you do in other champions. But uh, you sacrifice that for the amount of health and armor that you do get. Noctis being spotted, gonna try and push him away. Armor's up right now, but he wants to force out the Ghost Walk, which he's been successful in doing. Can he prevent any item getting taken by Noctis? Does he want to drop? That would be a huge, huge risk. Maybe chucking the totem down. That's actually, I think, a good move. He's going to use the extra health that he can get. Looking for the rail, but Noctis is the one who's quicker on the trigger. That's a fantastic exchange there. Uh, and Noctis, cool, like cool his face, says a thousand words right now. I mean, it's business time for him. Uh, He's down around. He's down a map as well. And he's expecting uh, more from himself. We're going to see an early engagement from these two players. Uh, it's going to be cooler losing out on the army. He's got just over 100 health left. The Mega will be his, which will give him an edge on the stack. But it's not something you don't want to just jump into that straight away. Anything could happen in those, those first seconds of a map. I know where you are, Noctis. I know what you're doing. LG out, huge damage. Noctis so weak. Like he is so going to fall, just completely trapped in that part of the map. And uh, Cooler tries to try to close the gap him and giving him no exit route at all. Acid out. Hasn't done much damage with the acid, but has done loads with the LG. And this is what we need to see from Cooler. Fantastic play from Cooler there. His LG right on point. And he has waded out that armor as well. Noctis will beat out that opportunity and we'll see those nails come chasing through but as Noctis falls cool as rail meets him and that will be a very very swift round two three unanswered frags from cooler and he's back in business 
Yeah, this will give me give him a bit more energy, a bit more uh, comfort in this series. But of course, there's still a couple more rounds to gain uh, before we can see those rounds being reset to a third map. And this is a bit more of a calm start that we're not used to seeing between these two. It's been at least three seconds without a fight. And they're able to calibrate themselves and get onto those uh, important weapons at the beginning. You know, the, the rocket, the rail, the lightning gun. Uh, Cooler now having all three of those. Opportunity here for Cooler comes around the corner and got himself in a lot of trouble, but his LG is getting him out of trouble. 16 points of health he'll escape with, and the Mega is waiting as his reward. He will help himself to the armor too, and if he can just finish off picking up some health, he will be more than happy. That escaping rocket also forces Noctis to quickly run away, but another one's waiting for him. That was insanely close just there. The first rocket was fantastic. I think just over 60 damage that he did, which is a, a lot when you're going up against the likes of an Anarchy. Uh, we have got the Mega shortly, and uh, Cooler taking every resource he can. If you didn't notice, guys, the blood pool there by the teleporter does give you five health per tick. And uh, obviously can't heal you over your cap. Only the Mega can do that. Cooler waiting out Noctis. LG out from Noctis early on. Wow. And LG, I'm oh, sorry, that rail from Cooler does worlds of damage, but Noctis did his own as well. Noctis has all the armor, but none of the health. And Cooler eventually escapes. Uh, health intact and uh, up to 150, but no armor to play with. I think uh, Cooler was, uh, sorry, Noctis was on about one point of health just then, maybe, well, somewhere sub five. So he can count himself lucky that he got out of that. Noctis, the one with the work to do. Almost two minutes into this, though, so there's time to think. You don't have to make those panicked rushes straight away. We are seeing Noctis actually being a lot more calculated than he was on Corrupted Keep, which maybe actually to his detriment. Maybe he thrives a bit more on that aggression. We remain on board with Cooler as he goes hunting for Noctis. A rocket comes his way and he will force Noctis back and now decides to run the gauntlet of those LG out and sees, oh, has his Noctises. But with a mega spawning, Cooler has himself an opportunity and escaping rail there from Noctis pushes Cooler all the way down to 78. And Cooler decides this is not a fight he can win right now. And here we find the second blood pool that you can get that health uh, recovered as well. Noctis is actually going to be coming down. Decent amount of damage done by Cooler. Oh, the rocket's so close. 225 is going to be taken by Noctis. And uh, it's still survival mode from him. He does not want to fight just yet. No rail used by Cooler. That may be a lost opportunity, but that nail gun is going to do the work. And only one champion left for Noctis in this third round. Ooh. Cooler wins uh, this round. This puts him on map point. And that rail was a millimeter away from hitting. LG out from Cooler. Noctis is escaping. Gauntlet will follow from Cooler. And there it is. Noctis goes down. And that is six unanswered frags from Cooler now as he uh, asserts his dominance. I think Noctis was looking to get the, the perforation frag with Nyx. You use your ghost walk and you walk inside the enemy model. And from there on, you're doing, you're, you're looking at about eight, 9,000 damage or so, <laughs> which is uh, enough to kill most champions. What? Maybe I should stipulate it actually kills more of them. If someone thinking there's a 9,000 health champion that they're waiting to unlock. That's in the uh, DLC. <laughs> Here we go with uh, Cooler in worlds of trouble because Noctis is coming at him. Wow. But just will get out. Oh, sorry, but Cooler will get out with that frag and it will be an early exchange. And you said in that last round, those early exchanges, they're a bit of a potluck. You never want them. It's true, but. There was about a 100-100 left for Cooler at the end of that fight. I think it was uh, Noctis was fighting a losing battle. And uh, maybe he shouldn't have gone in there. That, if anything, that they have been a, a little bit more coin flippy before, but Cooler had perfect control of that. What a read there from Cooler. He made the split-second decision just there and decided that the acid spit was going to go on that teleporter exit and the weak champion, that is Anarchy, will suffer. Here comes Noctis now, Cooler will rocket him up into the sky, tries to finish him off! That was almost uh, the midi just there to finish the game, but that Ghost Dwarf is going to be preserving Noctis' life a little longer. This is crucial. Cooler wants to clear up the map right now. He needs to find a way in. He needs to find a way to fight before the Ghost Dwarf returns. LGR Noctis, what are you going to be doing over here? Not much, it looks like. Cooler takes down map two uh, uh, quite convincingly, if anything. 
So I admire your ability as a commentator to try and just like play all sides. And as we're going into ZTN, you are saying, yeah, but it's not quite the same ZTN. It is by name, but it isn't by nature. And all of the Russian advantage that we have seen historically, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> not a single frag from Noctis on ZTN. Well, that was uh, a yeah, poor performance to, to some extent uh, from Noctis. Um, if anything, it was like he was trying to be too aggressive one moment and then not aggressive enough the other. And that worked on map one. Yeah. On map one, he had the space to maneuver, but on ZTN, there's nowhere to hide. Exactly. Well, no, not no, literally. You can find some, you can find some couple of corners maybe, but uh, Kulo had everything covered just then. He was responding phenomenally well to everything. We saw that move, uh, uh, the penultimate frag, um, uh, that last round where he just decided he's going to spit all over that teleporter exit and that, that same frame uh, knock just decided to walk through of Anarchy. And that, that was just excellent game sense for Kulo. If you've never seen uh, Quake before, on your left is Kulo, on your right is Noctis. And welcome to the uh, Quick World Championships. Only the million dollars up for competition this weekend. Only a small million. But, uh, You're going home with $10,000 just for sitting on that stage right now. That's true. 15 uh, it will be your placing if you win this game. Oh, I think, uh, oh no, you're absolutely spot on. So, uh, cooler though, I'm sure Twitch chat will be, uh, he's, he's generally a fan favorite. If you're walking into this community right now or trying to understand the players a little bit more, cooler has got a, a legacy and uh, definitely a huge fan base uh, by his side. He's been so successful over the years. And that's not to take anything away from Noctis. He's an absolute legend in his old, own right. But if you see Cooler spammed in chat, then just don't be surprised. They're okay. Everyone there is absolutely okay. It's just Cooler. It's just Cooler things. Okay, we'll do the same again. It's DM6. It's a legendary map. Mm -hmm. Talk us through the differences in the new game. I mean, I could uh, I could make the same points as before with her blood run. It is a little bit more open. Uh, railed and tends to be a bit more important. I I kind of I like the fact that Noctis plays Anarchy because I always feel it's a great map for for that champion where you've got a lot of room to move around. You've got uh, three small armors that you can collect uh, and fill up that stack pretty quickly, uh, in p particularly with the speed that you have moving. Um, that doesn't mean to say that I think that Noctis is a favorite on this map. I, I think this is going to be tremendously close. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see something very tight and uh, expect the rail to be uh, omnipresent here. Well, your money as we go into this final map? I've got to, I've got to put it down to Kula. He's I predicted him in the finals before, and I, 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 I can't stop it there at all. I'm not changing my mind. Well, I, I haven't asked you your prediction, actually. I would have to go for Cooler. I don't like Noctis' engagement style. I think he got him some uh, some rounds in map one that he possibly didn't deserve. I'll be aggressive. That was that was that was harsh right there. But I'm all for an upset. Absolutely. And uh, on Cooler to uh, begin with in the first round of this tie-breaking map. He has got all the weapons that he needs uh, for him. And just sneaking around, this is the information play at the moment. He's trying to get something from Noctis, but Noctis is playing a very similar game at the moment. And he's going to walk into each other. Acid comes out, does manage to land the damage over time, but not much else other than that. Does spot the damage down the lower, so we should have a good idea where Noctis is. That rocket coming out from Cooler, LG as well, and that is going to be frag one for the Russian. Cooler growing in confidence as this map goes on, or as this match goes on. And uh, with the blip of map one out of the way, Cooler continues to chase out. And what goes up a jump pad must go down. And Noctis just lined up in a straight line. If you are watching Quake for the very first time, jump pads are treacherous things. Absolutely. You, they just put you mid-air, easy to hit. 100% accuracy where uh, anyone with two hands can hit the shots. And again, this quiet play from Kula. I, I, I like this. It's, it's something that we're seeing much more commonly. People aren't just rushing around the map with their own different routes. Uh, it's all about knowing more than your opponent to really separate those small differences between these elite players. And uh, with Noctis, with a small health on this champion, you walk into a, a Solag, and a full, a full load of spit is going to completely destroy your stack. Armor, though, is going to be taken by Noctis and Kula will be more than happy with the 150, 100 that he holds at the moment. He's waiting. Is Noctis going to come around the corner? Finds him. Rocket landed by both players. 
one he's there's a rocket on himself actually there's a drop from noctis at the moment and the rocket is going to finish him off that was a great Getting move by Noctis. Great move by Noctis. Cooler, having decided not to engage under the towers, waited, knew exactly where Noctis was, or knew within two areas where Noctis would have come from. And you just have to feel that self-rocket was really the difference between Cooler coming out on top or losing that one. And uh, Noctis will get himself his first frag in 10 and a real opportunity to get him... Sorry, first frag in 11 and his real opportunity to get himself right back into this one. And he's got... Uh... Well, just over two minutes in order to get the frag that he needs. Cooler can afford to play it quite slowly. I would not be surprised if he does do just that. This is great damage so far from Cooler. Oh, the rocket right on the X there. I was uncertain whether that Ghost Walk was going to have appeared just then for Cooler. But Noctis brings it to a one frag game here on the first round. And Noctis yeah. just, he just takes fights. He just, he had 25 points of health going into that. He had the advantage given the, given the site, and he was like, oh, here we go. Yeah, Cooler gonna look to try and finish off with that rocket from Noctis does 54, and Cooler can't escape quick enough as uh, Noctis will uh, make his way away, and uh, Cooler will cower for a little bit. Still five seconds until this armor is up. Uh, Noxus might feel quite vulnerable over here for the time being. Rockets coming down onto the armor. Cooler, he's actually missed the armor himself. Is this going to give it enough time to survive? It won't. And Cooler. Magic play from him. That was calculated just then. I thought that going over and past that armor would have meant he loses too much health. But he actually re he, he recovered amazingly well just then. And Noxus might be a little bit disappointed that he was so early for that armor. That's timing. That's where you're timing the items. That's where you've got to make sure you're at the right place at the right time. And Because uh, the problem is when you stood out. over there, you're totally exposed. Completely. And for five seconds, he was, and the engagement was to be coolers in the end. We're on board with Noctis, though, for round two. Rail hits him in midair as he falls back. Cooler that's will... nasty. Any, any rail at the moment for Noctis to receive, is uh, it's just a signal to get out. And uh, the armor, not going to be up for a few seconds. He doesn't want to make the same mistake as last time. He's already committing over there. We might see him go down. And that is uh, it's deja vu at this yeah. point. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you know what? I will just repeat the point. Like, there is nothing there to protect you. You are out wide open, and Cooler can just push you in any direction. Now, he was milliseconds away from that armor coming up, to be fair. But having been out there for five seconds himself, like, it was being out on the beach without your sunscreen. Whoa. Surprise. There's a jump from Noctis in a little mid-air. That's from Kulo to clear up the second frag of the round. And he finds him right off the spot. There's still four seconds until that armor's going to be up. Kulo cannot quite land the shot. Noctis might be able to get himself the other. But the question is, can he escape? Oh, Kulo's going to allow him to. He does not want anything more to do with that fight. Noctis' selection of engagements just baffles me. I mean, he's such a good player. But here we go, Rocket coming in for Cooler. Can he finish off? Bouncing Noctis all around the sky, but Noctis' LG will be too strong, and Cooler will be put down. And there's uh, someone looking out for Noctis in the sky just there, because those rockets were not hitting from Cooler. I could definitely have seen Noctis going down, putting Cooler on a match point. It'll be Cooler who gets the armor this time. Noctis dancing around beneath the towers, and Cooler going to come charging around that corner. First LG does it, second LG should finish him off, but Cooler will escape. Yeah, the damage coming out from uh, the machine gun just then was unbelievable. It's not a switch that you normally see as well. Uh, the, the, the initial rocket, uh, just a very well executed fight from Noctis. It was unfortunate not to have gotten the, the frag even, but Cooler has got the ghost walk up. Plenty of health and armor for Noctis to work with. Uh, how can he lock down? Well, what a rail shot, actually, there from Cooler. And Noctis is just doing rings around the map. Finds himself that mega health to stack him up a little further. But not quite finding exactly where Cooler is. There it is, forces that ghost walk. And Cooler just going to escape. Uh, with that extra lifeline, we might see him again play a defensive play defensively for, for quite a long period of time. Well, Cooler's going to have to do twice as much damage as Noctis now, and he needs to be getting some shots with the rail to kind of just equalize out that health score for a little bit before he picks the fight, because this is exactly what Noctis wants. And uh, Cooler evades once more.
I think Noctis just spotted where Cooler went. Gonna find him on the bounce pad. This is bad news at the moment for Cooler, and he is gonna drop one champion each. We've got fast movement at the moment from Noctis. He's gonna find him, but that armor's been taken already. Limited amount of health here for the Austrian, and he's gonna have to be very, very careful. Cooler is, is pretty stacked for a Ranger. Noctis has, yeah, Cooler has plenty of armor to play with. We are down to the last frag of round two of map three. And here we go. Rocket to the face of Cooler times two. And uh, Cooler will want to get himself right out of trouble. And that Noctis rocket gets Noctis out of jail so many times. Here we go. All action as Cooler will escape. That was a brilliant dialogue. He felt that uh, the danger was coming. The rocket stole from Cooler. Insane that he just, he looked like he was so out of position. Maybe even slightly shaken up from that, but you can see that he is hyped. And he is getting closer to that end goal, making it through to that next round of the tournament. Noctis is all smiles. Cooler, on the <laughs> other hand, fist pumping, blood pumping for sure. But those two rockets at the end were just pure instinct you feel from Cooler. Oh, missed rail. Oh, sorry, missed rocket jump over towards the rail. And uh, in doing so, though, he does deny Noctis, who senses his opportunity with the LG, chases him down. And uh, here we go, rocket out. That LG is just not getting an angle on him. And Noctis in the end will take a rocket to the face. All right, Cooler can smell that spot in the semi-finals. Just that one round needed, two frags left. It seems so close for him. And Noctis has got his work cut out. He's been playing excellently through the series. And we've got an attack from him now. No rail to follow up, only 38 health remaining for Cooler, but that mega is gonna help him out a lot. Does he wanna go for that? Big armor, oh, wow, the chase. Cooler deciding to rocket jump at the perfect moment. LG on the tail. And now the rocket to follow wow. as well. Noctis in world of trouble! Oh. And Noctis will be put down. I was thinking, do you want to go for the, uh, the, the show shot there? Go for the mid-air, but he was leaping around, getting the acid spear, the lightning gun, securing that frag. It is just Nyx remaining for Noctis. And he's actually, he's actually going to move in on this. This is absolutely insane. He looks for the perforation, but Noctis is going to be so weak. Cooler takes down the quarterfinal here in the Quake World Championships. You can see what it means to Cooler. It's written all over his face for the second match in a row. He jumps up with victory. Handshakes all round. And uh, Cooler will pick himself up a uh, place in the quarterfinals. The minimum of $15,000. And he will face uh, the winner of either Claus Galasak. Claus was up when we left that one. Um, and then Jean versus Astro Boy. Astro Boy. So, your closing thoughts on that one, Sue? I think brilliantly calculated play from Cooler at the end. He was looking a lot more confident. Um, I think he was uncovering the flaws in the play of someone who is that much more of a traditional team playing uh, player. Um, and uh, you can see at the moment the, the strut on the stage. That is someone who is currently on a uh, one step to the journey to victory here at the Quake World Championship. Well, he has so much adrenaline going through him right now and uh, all releases. From Noctis' perspective, what would he do differently next time? Uh, I mean, just uh, picking and choosing those fights uh, in a different ways. I know earlier on in, uh, in the series, we, we were seeing some decisions where uh, it, it wasn't even a coin flip. It was something that was, you, you need to really take those the huge risk, high risk, high reward. And you don't need to do that at this high level of uh, duel. I mean, it feels almost, uh, almost pedantic at this point, but maybe he just wants to frag. Maybe he just <laughs> wants to get into those fights as soon as possible. But uh, you need to be slower. You need to be more calculated than that. And uh, Did the uh, TDM player in him come out? You know, he was just, is Noctis just born to frag? I think maybe he was waiting for his teammates to come in and support him just then, but uh, it, it wasn't to be. But I mean, I've, I've got so much respect for Noctis as a player. He's, he's been absolutely uh, amazing uh, at everything that he really puts his finger on in Quake uh, and the fact that he's getting uh, this far and uh, is able to put on a show against someone of uh, the, the class of Cooler, I think is a testament to his ability. All right, well, Zoot, it's been a pleasure. What a great game we've just had. And speaking of great to great, it's Marcus Graham. Thank you very much to us, Pot. Uh, great matchup. Again, uh, I felt like the uh, performance side of Noctis in round one was really great, but also just showing that ability to adapt from Cooler uh, you know, I was sitting next to Carmack and he said, Cooler could win this event. It's like, yeah, I 
I think that's very much a possibility. He's certainly one of the contenders. He moves on to the semifinals. Welcome back. Oh, don't forget our next match is going to be Avic versus Vu. Let's talk a little bit about this matchup, though. Vic, your thoughts, uh, Cooler versus Noctis. Again, these matches, it's just one after the other. Uh, they're, I'm on the edge of my seat for these matches. Noctis did start off very well. And I'd, I'd like to follow up a little bit on the commentator's points about picking his battles. I think as we went, especially in the third map, I thought there were some opportunities where he probably could have backed off. I think at the end there at Pillars, the heavy armor was up. He decided to push a fight and, and he maybe come out to think about rotating because he had Cooler low, but he went in for everything you know maybe they're right maybe a little of that team dm came out on him where i was like you know maybe could have went got that heavy armor and then came back and initiated another thing uh an, another fight but uh, you got to give credit to cooler for for making adjustments and yeah i mean i mean you got to give credit to players who get it done basically yeah yeah zsx i think for me the most magical thing about cooler is the way in which he adapts his game throughout each individual game in that most players even at the very highest level they have their own little strategies and the rotations that they play off but Kula completely thinks about it in a different way to anybody else he really thinks about what you are doing at all times and then plays yeah. around that rather than just running the map in a very coordinated and, and logical fashion so and that makes him incredibly difficult to play against because as we've seen throughout the tournament he's progressed almost round on round the way in which he's got better and better and better and that for me makes him the force going into the next round and yeah. You, you can see him at points in the map where he's really calculated, quiet, listening for sound cues. Um, that really shows how cerebral he is. He's trying yeah. to pick up on his opponent's movements and then, you know, pounce. And then, of course, there's the moments where he is just in your face, relentless, like a, a mad dog who just wants to, to take you down. And I, I was looking, actually, just at today's games. And um, every game that Cooler has lost, excuse me, every game that Cooler's lost, He's lost 3-2, where it's always come to that last round. But with the exception of one, every game that he's won has been almost a 3-0 victory. There was one that was, you know, that was, of course, the last matchup with Toxic, which is really intense as well.